Not so very far from Earth, relatively speaking, scientists have discovered a new planet known as Proxima b. We have found a terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found because it's the nearest star to the Sun, and we are very excited about it. Excited because it's not only close to our solar system, but it may in fact be very similar to Earth. It's only slightly larger than our planet and likely has a rocky surface. It orbits its sun at the right distance to create a similar temperature range as Earth, meaning it's possible Proxima b contains water. It begins with a picture, not a painting, not an artist's guesswork, but light gather across 4.24 light years, focused by a golden mirror suspended in the dark. For the first time, we are staring, truly staring, at Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to our own world. The James Webb Space Telescope has cut through the emptiness, pulled a distant sun's whisper into clarity, and handed humanity a portrait that feels impossible. In the image, there's texture, there's color, there's a haunting suggestion a movement. And somewhere inside that detail lies a question that has haunted us for generations. Are we alone? Proxima b could be nothing more than a scorched, airless rock, its orbit whipping around its dim red star every 11.2 days. Or it could be something far stranger, a living world, perhaps even home to minds that have wondered about us in return. What Webb has shown is more than astronomy. It's a mirror held up to our own existence. In the folds of this image, we're forced to confront the possibility that life is not unique, that Earth is not the only storyteller in the universe. If that's true, the universe just became far more intimate and far more mysterious. Launched in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope now floats 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, balanced in a delicate gravitational pocket called the second Lagrange point. Out there, beyond the pool of our planet's heat and noise, it operates in silence so deep that even starlight arrives as a whisper. Web 6.5 meter mirror, an intricate mosaic of 18 hexagonal gold coated segments, was built to catch those whispers, collecting light that has been traveling not just years, but centuries, millennia, even billions of years. Where Hubble saw the universe mostly invisible in ultraviolet light, Webb peers into the infrared, heat radiation invisible to human eyes, but perfect for slipping past cosmic dust and revealing what would otherwise be hidden. This is why Proxima b, orbiting a faint red dwarf, is no longer just a point of inference in the data set. Webb's near-infrared camera and IR cam and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, can dissect the light from its star after it filters through the planet's thin rim of atmosphere, if one exists. Within that spectrum lie chemical fingerprints, water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, the molecular hints of oceans, clouds, or perhaps even lice breath. The engineering behind this is staggering. Webb must hold his massive mirror segments aligned within a fraction of a wavelength of light. Precision at the atomic scale. While its sun shield keeps it colder than minus 220 degrees Celsius, ensuring no stray warmth from the telescope contaminates its readings. Every pixel Webb returns is more than an image. Its data, a layer record of heat and chemistry and distance. And in the case of Proxima b, those pixels have begun whispering something humanity has never heard before. Not certainty, not proof, but possibility. Etched in light that has traveled across the abyss to reach us. Proxima b first emerged in the noise of starlight in 2016, discovered not by direct sight, but by a subtle wobble. Its gravity tugging on Proxima Centauri, shifting the star's light by mere meters per second. This was a radial velocity method at its most delicate, measuring the invisible handshake between planet and star. The data revealed a super-Earth, 1.17 times the mass of our own, orbiting in what astronomers call the habitable zone, the region where liquid water could exist. At first glance, it seemed like the best candidate yet for life beyond the solar system. But Proxima Centauri is no gentle sun, it's a red dwarf, cooler and dimmer than our star, yet far more volatile. Proxima b's tight orbit, just 11.2 Earth days, keeps it close enough to be bathed in the star's tantrums. Stellar flares erupt with a violence 100 times greater than the sun's, flooding space with ultraviolet and X-ray radiation. These outbursts can strip a planet's atmosphere in geologic moments, leaving nothing but a bare frozen rock or a scorched desert. Observations from Hubble, Chandra, 
Eximum Newton and the Alma Radio Rea painted a picture of a harsh neighborhood. Even if Proxima B began with oceans and clouds, the relentless radiation could have boiled them away or torn their molecules apart. And yet, the story is entirely bleak. Some models suggest that a strong magnetic field or a thick atmosphere could shield the surface. In certain scenarios, life, if arose, might retreat underground or beneath seas, safe from the worsted flares. Proxima B may even be tightly locked, showing one face to its star forever, creating a twilight zone between the scorched day side and the frozen night side, where temperatures could hover in the habitable range. Adding to the intrigue, Alma has detected another planet, Proxima C, and hint of possibly two or three more companions. The system is more complex than we first believe, and complex systems often mean dynamic histories. Worlds shaped by collisions, migrations, and perhaps exchanges in material. Proxima B could be dead. It could be clinging to life in the shadows. Either way, it exists in a realm where survival is an act of defiance against a furious star. And that defiance may be exactly what makes it worth studying. For years, Proxima B was a ghost in the numbers, a wobble in its star, a maybe in our models. We can imagine it, but we couldn't see it. Then, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward that small patch of Centaurus, and the ghost stepped into the light. The image Webb returned was more than just a blurred orb against the black. In its infrared depths lay something no one expected, a concentrated glow on the planet's dark side. Proxima B is almost certainly tidally locked. One hemisphere an eternal day, the other an endless night. The dark side should be frozen silent and utterly black. Yet there was a persistent, measurable brightness standing out against the cold. Three possibilities have emerged. The most conservative explanation, atmospheric circulation. Winds could carry heat and starlight from the day side into the night, scattering enough infrared radiation for Webb to detect. The second, geological activity. Massive volcanic vents, like those on Jupiter's moon Io, could be spewing molten rock and gases into darkness, their heat bleeding into space. But the third possibility, the one that makes a hair on the back of your neck rise, is artificial light. If that glow comes from cities, installations, or energy collectors built by another intelligence, it would mean we are not the first technology makers in our galactic neighborhood. Webb's instruments weren't designed to prove intent. But the spectral profile of that glow does entirely match any known natural phenomenon. It's faint, steady, and oddly uniform. More like a grid of illumination than the chaotic flare of magma. Complicating the picture, Webb also picked up signs of water vapor and carbon dioxide in Proxima B spectrum. That means there's an atmosphere, at least in part, and possibly liquid water somewhere on the surface. In the twilight belt, where day meets night, conditions might be stable enough for life. Maybe hardy vegetation, maybe radiation-resistant microbes, maybe something more. Is combination a potentially habitable zone, a working atmosphere and unexplained illumination, has transformed Proxima B from a remote curiosity into the single most tantalizing candidate for extraterrestrial life we've ever had. Scientists are cautious, even skeptical. Natural explanations still sit in the front row of possibilities, but the public reaction has been different. People have flooded online forums, social media, and late night conversations with one question. What if that, what if as teeth, it forces us to imagine another civilization looking back at us from just over four light years away? Four light years isn't far. It's the cosmic equivalent of a neighbor's porch light seen across a dark field. If someone is over there, they might have known about us for a long time. We have stared at the sky for thousands of years. For the first time, it feels like maybe someone just flicked the lights on in return. What Webb has given us is not just a scientific result. It's a cultural moment. The spectrum of Proxima B shows a faint but undeniable signatures of water vapor and carbon dioxide, the building blocks of weather, oceans, and possibly biology. Layered on top of that is Enigma the Dark Side Glow, a puzzle that forces scientists to straddle the line between cautious analysis and wonder. From a purely technical perspective, this is groundbreaking. Never before have we had such a direct, data-rich look at a rocky planet beyond our solar system, especially one orbiting so near. 
Webb's ability to split light into its molecular fingerprints has turned Proxima B from an abstract set of orbital parameters into a place, a world with atmosphere, climate, and perhaps activity. Even if the glow turns out to be entirely natural, it will rewrite our understanding of how planets survive in the turbulent embrace of red dwarf stars. But science is not insulated from emotion. The image has gripped the public imagination in a way that few discoveries ever do. It sparked headlines, art songs, and countless late-night debates. Philosophers are weighing in on what would mean if the light is artificial. Religious leaders are reinterpreting texts. Children are drawing Proxima B with glowing cities under alien skies. There's also a quieter current of unease. The thought of another civilization, especially one close enough to reach us within decades with the right technology, touches something primal. It's hope and fear braided together. Hope that we are not alone in the void. Fear what not alone might truly entail. In a way, this moment is the sum of centuries of human longing. From Galileo's first telescope to the Voyager probe's pale blue, we've inched toward a possibility that the universe is not a stage built for a single cast. Webb's portrait Proxima B feels like the curtain lifting. Whether the glow is volcanic fire, wind-borne warmth, or the deliberate beacon of alien engineers, one truth is already certain. We are entering a new chapter in the human story. One with a question of are we alone is no longer rhetorical, it's urgent. If the James Webb Space Telescope has handed us the first real portrait of Proxima B, the next generation of observatories will give us the close-up, the kind of detail that can settle arguments and end speculation. At the front of that charge is extremely large telescope, now rising from the arid expanse of Chile's Atacama Desert. Its 39.3 meter mirror will dwarf anything that has come before, a glass and metal eye so vast could collect more light in a single night than some instruments manage in years. When it comes online, the ELT's adaptive optics will counteract Earth's own atmosphere distortion, sharpening its vision to near perfection. Equipped with instruments like Mikado and Harmonia, it will be able to dissect Proxima B's light with unmatched precision, searching not only for water vapor, methane, oxygen, but also for subtler biosignatures, chemicals that on Earth are produced almost exclusively by life. If the glow on Proxima B's night side is truly artificial, the ELT could detect patterns, spectral fingerprint of industrial processes or energy generation that Webb could only hint at. But ground-based telescopes won't work alone. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in 2027, will take Webb's technology and focus it on wide field surveys, potentially discovering more planet around Proxima Centauri or other nearby stars. Roman's coronagraph will block out starlight so effectively that it may capture direct images of rocky exoplanets, revealing surface colors, cloud patterns, or even seasonal changes. Together, these instruments will form an armada of eyes, each contributing a different layer to the portrait of Proxima B. Where Webb offers exquisite infrared detail from space, the ELT will deliver resolution that can catch subtle shifts in the planet's atmosphere over time. Roman will hunt for context, other worlds, other systems, that can help us understand whether Proxima B is unique or just one example in a galaxy filled with similar planets. There's also a talk of sending probes, though that a challenge of another scale. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot propose using powerful lasers to propel gram-scale craft to a fraction of light speed, reaching Proxima Centauri in just over 20 years. If that ever becomes reality, we might one day trade pixelated images for high-definition footage and speculation for certainty. What's driving all this isn't just a thirst for data, it's a human need to know, to stand under a night sky and say, without hedging, what lies out there the JWST has given us a door cracked open. The ELT, Roman, and Mission Jet Unborn will decide if we step through. By the time those instruments finish their work, we may have our answer. Whether the thriving biosphere, a silent volcanic wasteland, or the glimmer of technology not our own, the truth about Proxima B will be more than a scientific milestone. It will be a turning point in the history of our species. The James Webb Space Telescope's image of Proxima B is more than a breakthrough. It's a moment that divides history into before and after. In that single frame, we see a world with water vapor and carbon dioxide in its skies, orbiting a nearby star in just 11.2 days. 
locked in gravitational dance that may cradle liquid water. And then there's a glow, steady unblinking, on the dark side. Maybe it's wind-borne heat, maybe volcanic fire, or maybe something else. What's certain is that this image has changed the conversation. Proxima B is no longer an abstract that in a star catalog, it's a place, a place that can hold oceans, weather, life, or even civilizations older than our own. Future giants like the 39.3 meter extremely large telescope and NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will take us deeper, peeling back the layers until the mystery is bare. Whether we find neighbors or are only silence, we will know. And that is the point. We've crossed into an era where the nearest stars are no longer unreachable. They are destinations. Proxima B's light has traveled years to meet us. The least we can do is answer.